Clifford the Big Red Dog, The Runaway Rabbit by Norman Birdwell. Wally, this is Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. Clifford, this is Wally. Wally is our classroom bunny, Emily Elizabeth explained. It's my turn to take care of him this weekend. But I have to go out now, Emily Elizabeth said. Will you stay home and watch Wally? Clifford wagged his tail and woofed. Thanks, Emily Elizabeth said, and she waved goodbye. Cleo and T-Bone came to visit. Clifford introduced them to Wally. He is so cute, Cleo said. Can we take him out and play with him? Why not, Clifford said. How much trouble can a little bunny be? He opened the cage. Wally wrinkled his nose. He wiggled his ears. Hippity hop, off he went. Wally hopped off the table. He hopped across the floor. Hippity hop and off he went. Clifford and his friends dashed after him. Wally hopped across the yard and into a hollow log. T-Bone followed him. Wally hopped out the other end, but T-Bone got stuck inside the log. There was only one thing to do. Clifford took a deep breath and... Whoosh! Out popped T-Bone. But where was Wally? The three dogs ran here and there. They looked high and low. There he is, Clifford said. There he was, Cleo said. Gosh, he's fast. Clifford, Cleo, and T-Bone ran as fast as they could, but Wally was faster. Where did he go, T-Bone asked. I don't know, Clifford said. But I know where I would go if I were a rabbit, he added. Clifford, Cleo, and T-Bone raced to Farmer Green's and there was Wally. He'll never want to leave here, Cleo said, and I'm too tired to catch and carry him. We may not be able to catch Wally, Clifford said, but we can catch a carrot. Wally followed Clifford all the way home. Clifford led Wally back to his cage, then he gave him the carrot. I never thought a little bunny could be so much trouble, Cleo said. Just then, Emily Elizabeth came home. Thanks for watching Wally, she said. Poor Wally has been cooped up in his cage all day. I think I'll let him out. Emily Elizabeth opened the door. Why don't you guys play with him while I clean his cage, she said. After all, how much trouble can a little bunny be? The end.